He tried to grab it from me and then it ripped. That's how I got into sewing. His stuffed animals to quote unquote help them because some of them have pores or some of them don't have enough stuffing so I have to do stuffing translations with old used toys that I don't like anymore. My mom has one rule. One rule. We can't die before she dies. Ready, set, and go! I talked to my husband and he said that she did not throw up again, but her color was really bad and he said her lips were blue and that just sent off warning alarms in my head. I was like, that's not good. Uh, they took her vitals and her heart rate was between 40 and 45, which is extremely low. Normal is at least 60, 60 to 100. So they immediately knew there was something wrong. So this is Juliet's first echocardiogram um, when she came in the night of April 6th. Um, and what we're looking here, this is her left ventricle, which is the main pumping chamber of the heart. Um, and normally you want to see a really good squeeze of that ventricle. Um, and her ventricle not only is going very slowly, um, but it's also, it's not squeezing very well. It's more doing a, a rocking motion. They told my dad what was going on. Then my dad told me I was going on a helicopter and they explained to me that I was going on a helicopter to another hospital so my mom could come and I was going to be asleep. So Juliet was taken by her parents to St. Tammany Parish Hospital and their emergency department did an incredible job getting her stabilized um, and uh, intubated and on a ventilator when they realized that she was really critically ill. And um, unfortunately, she did have a cardiac arrest. One of the first things that we were gonna do was gonna secure her ET tube and, and set her up on our ventilator and get going. And it was after I set my ventilator down, I hear the doctor say, we've lost pulse. And we started CPR on her. And next thing you know, I'm doing chest compressions on this little 12 year old which was crazy in, in itself. And we were just watching the monitor, feeling her pulse just to make sure what we were seeing was correlating with what we were feeling. And her heart rate just, it just wanted to keep trending down. So we kept pushing more medicine. And at one point, I just remember, I, I put my hand on her chest and I just started praying mm -hmm. and just, Ask God to let this little girl live and for let to let her be part of her family yeah. again. So we very quickly realized that she had myocarditis and and were highly suspicious that this was re related to COVID. She was in complete heart block, which means the electricity from the top chamber of her heart wasn't communicating with the bottom chamber of her heart. Her heart was beating very slowly and the squeeze of her heart was very poor. Um, so it really wasn't getting a whole lot of blood to the rest of her body and organs. And because of that, she was going into kidney failure and liver failure. Juliet? Yes, Juliet. Um, should I? Uh... Hi, my name is Dana, and I'll be doing her um, EKG and vital signs. Great. What's her blood pressure on uh, It's 108 uh, 56, and her pulse was 108. One of the reasons why I love taking care of children is because children are so resilient. And Juliet came in as sick as you possibly can. Um, and within 10 days of, from, of leaving the hospital, um, she's back to having her totally normal life. What is going on, Rockstar? Hi, wow. Hello. Nice jacket. Good to see you again. Man, this jacket's like the dad. Fridays, I wear, I wear a blazer. And today happens to be Friday. It is. Um, so, first off, the good news that we're waiting for, yes. her echo looks incredible. Her injection from her heart is 
instructions okay? Yeah, it's your direction for our shit. Do you have any do you have any other questions for me? I think you're I think you're really doing great and uh, it's been amazing to see how sick you were when you came in and how well you're doing right now and I think we're all really amazed at you and um, keep up the good work because your story is, is saving other kids' lives out there. So Julia, another thing that we do with air transport is, is that whenever we get patients or, or team members that um, are very, very special to us, we also give, the, uh, give them our patch. So we'd like to give you our patches, okay? Aww, thank you. Yeah. Thank you and those so are the actual much. patches we yeah. wore that day. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I would like to say thank you to Oxnell and St. Tammany. They helped take care of me when I had the coronavirus and I'd like to thank them.